Nick here, Very Obsessed Customs. Today we're having a look at a pre-release of a new product from Monocure. Uh, currently at this time of this video it's not released but it'll be coming very very soon. There is a link in the description if you guys want to subscribe to get for more information. So this product is made right here in Australia which is good to see. Locally made product. So incredible. It fills your cracks, your holes, your dents. It's not just used for resin printing which a lot of them are going to be highlighted using it for resin printing. For our purpose, we'll be using this one on FDM prints for our moulds that we vacuum form as a quick substitute to your normal car filler, which you've got to use your two part, mix it up. So let's have a look. So you get your scrapers here, which is obviously going to apply your product down, charger, UV light, protective glasses, and the product itself. Now, the good thing about this over your normal fillers is actually good for wet sanding. Um, you can wet sand normal filler but it actually does soak up moisture a lot of people don't think it does but it does and it can degrade over time so with our use like I said before a lot of that's going to be on our vacuum form molds we previously used resin which is which is good for some aspects but it's quite thin compared to what this is going to be so a mix of the two I think will end up what I use but for now we're going to do a little bit of a test on a mold and we're going to see what it comes up like. Okay, so this is the mold here. It's a 124 scale uh, Le Mans body, which is sort of loosely based off the Mazda 787B. Um, as you can see, ley line is quite prevalent. A um, couple of close up photos here, which might show the detail a little bit better than on camera. So, our plan is we're going to just do some of these tops of these guards here where there's not much detail. And we're just going to do the one side and maybe a little bit back in here and some of the and down the side and then we could sort of sort of see half and half what the difference makes just with one coat of this product so let's get our gloves on and put it on okay so we're not using their included spatulas we're just using some muff cuts from our vacuum forms um, we've got plenty of this laying around it's nice and flexible works well so we're going to start with just sort of doing the side and the back um, so we've got the product here that's what it looks like. Um, this is a part one. This has partly been used already that they sent us to review, so it wasn't full. Obviously, these will be jam packed full when you get yours. So, sort of the consistency of it. it's quite a thick paste, as you can see here, which is good. You know, it's going to fill up gaps, so it'll take a little bit. Grab a mold and just smear it on. Um, they recommend to try to keep this quite thin, obviously to cure it easier. Um, the thicker you go, the longer it's going to take to cure. And if you go too thick, it might actually overheat. So thinner is better, but with how thick this is, it's going to fill up the gaps quite nicely and very quickly. So. Okay, so that's our half of the mold done uh, we'll try to keep it sort of 50 50 ish so you can sort of see the difference so we're going to get our glasses on and cure it now okay so we've given that a bit of a cure um, Still has a little bit of a stick to it, but like the resin did as well, it used to always have a stick, but when you knocked the first layer off, it was fine. So we're not going to hit those anything too aggressive, just something light, and we'll knock it down. And just to demonstrate what a wet and dry stands up like this, we stand it up. As you can see, we didn't go through too many grains. Um, it smooths up really nicely. You don't need to work your way all the way through every single grit. So this is the rear guard finished. Um, well, not finished, but just a quick smooth up to see how quickly you can go from rough to smooth. Like, 
Just hear the sound difference of me running my nail across it. Just still a little bit. Um, obviously, you're not going to get everything in one pass. You may have to do a couple of light skims depending on the part. Obviously, this is a little bit difficult to get in here. And the depends on how fine your layers are too. Down the side, we haven't quite smoothed this completely out. And then compared to the other side, might not pick it up so great. So these photos as well. Hopefully, you can see a little bit better on the photo. What's a little bit probably the worst color to be using, considering it blends in, but we should be able to see with the light as well. If we put our glasses on, we should be able to see. Hopefully we should be able to see this under the black light. You can see there, you still see some of the ley lines started to pop through there, so you'd put another skin through there on the top. Let's smooth it up quite nicely. And down the side, you can see it's filled up everything. Um, this is yeah, still where I think I'd still go back over with a smooth resin just for these sort of areas Just the real fine detail stuff so you can actually brush it out so you don't feel like all the vents and stuff so So for, for me, this is a great product that does cut down time uh, It removes the time of having to wait for bog to cure obviously you can't use um, Spray putty on these sort of things. I've found the spray putty can stick to the heat of plastic So if you guys are interested in this product check in the link below um, You'll be able to sign up, get for more information once it comes out. The pricing I'm not 100% sure of. Um, I'm sure there'll be a few different packages on different sizes and the UV light as well. Some guys might not need a UV light. They already have a resin system with a UV light set up. So thanks again to Monocure for sending this out. It's a great product. We will definitely be using this again in the future. It does cut a lot of time out. Uh, time is quite precious at the moment with a baby. I don't have enough hours in the day. so. This saves me a good, you know, 15, 20 minutes of cure time every time. It's going to save me a bunch doing these molds. So, till the next video, have a good one.